Hey friends, uh, I'm just here with another of the many mask tutorials that are going around right now. I have made probably about six different models of mask and this one is by far the easiest. If you can sew a button, you can make this mask. You don't need a sewing machine and we're calling this the messy mask. It's a very, very simple mask and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Now you've seen the bandana tutorials, so I basically built it off that, but what we found was with the bandana, uh, if you did that with the fabric and then sewed it, it was too many layers. So what I did was I cut out about a six by six piece of fabric. This is just like a nice soft felt. It's very close knit um, and it's a little bit like a medium thickness, right? So it would do a well at filtering and then I folded it in thirds. So let's show you. All right, so I have my cut out six by six piece of felt. We're gonna try and fold it in even thirds. I don't have a stand or anything right now so I'm literally just holding the camera as I do this right and it doesn't have to be perfect it's called a messy mask for a reason as you can see I can't cut straight to save my life and you're just gonna want to measure this to your face to make sure it'll cover your mouth and nose and hang down over your chin just a wee bit um, if not you can always loosen it up a little bit like this just lower that line down and then keep in mind uh, this can serve as a pocket right here. If you have a filter, by all means, go ahead and put that filter in there. Next, what we're going to do is just take um, two hair elastics. You can use a lot of things besides hair elastics. Uh, I just have these nylon style hair elastics. So there's no seam, which means I know it won't snap off of my face while I'm wearing it. One on each end. right? Just like that. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're actually just going to take this, fold it in, and stitch it here. Stitch it well. I double threaded um, and made sure that there was, you know, a good 15 or 20 stitches all the way through and then did the same on this side. And as you can see here, it just kind of holds the hair elastics on. Then you're able to stretch the hair elastics over your ears um, or you can sew buttons onto a headband and hook them on there, whatever is more comfortable for you. Um, if you don't have hair elastics, you could use a headband and go from here to here and wrap it around your head. I would use a thicker uh, fabric headband like that. Um, if you don't have that, you can actually take the foot of pantyhose, flatten it, and just cut straight through. So then you have a loop and you can use the loop of some clean or fresh new pantyhose um, to go ahead and make your ear guards. Like I said, super simple. The CDC, the Canadian government, and the American government are all recommending everyone wear masks now to help stop the spread so this is a simple easy way to do your part is to make yourself a mask and your family members and go ahead and wear that when you go out thanks guys